talking about himself and what he has and what he's going to do and just, you know, he just wasn't very, um... Attentive to you exactly. and worried about you and that's he's trying to impress you, which he didn't impress you. Yes, about. I hate that. That's like my number one turn off. Um, that's one of the turn offs for men from our uh, previous show, about two shows ago. Men, the same thing you don't like in a woman, we don't like in a man either. So mm -hmm. anyway, so it was a bore, no interest, no spark. I mean, if he stopped talking about himself the whole time, then yeah. He didn't something. ask any questions about Not him. really, no. No? No. I mean, but other than that, like, physically and everything, that I mean, like, yeah, he's hot and everything, you know, mm -hmm. well-mannered, that sort of thing. I was actually kind of shocked because I thought he was going to be a real douche. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess minus the fact that he, you know, didn't talk so much about himself, then it would have been all right, but I well, can't. I'm sure you'll find somebody, you know, Eventually, you yes. know, that's for you and me. Holler out there. Have fun and just be safe and dated because there's crazy people out there. And, uh, you know, not everybody's just lucky to just meet someone right off the bat. Some people take a lifetime and never meet anybody. Some people hit it right off the bat, like Chloe and Lamar. Yes. I don't know. They just like, boom, bam, bam. Like, they just. After a couple of weeks, which is quite amazing. Yeah, like a month they were dating and all of a sudden they're getting married and they have getting, you know, they're married. I mean, so what is it now? That was what, 2009? So. What are we saying? Like almost two years of them being married? Is it that long already? I think so. It's going on two years in September. I don't know, but I mean, they seem out to be happy. I don't know if it's publicity or what, but it it, it was kind of at the beginning. I thought it might have been. Yeah, it's starting to look a little genuine. Like, it is. To yeah, enjoy each other. But um, but money can make you um, you know. That's true, too, and make you do things that you normally wouldn't do for exactly. it, but, you know. But, um, yeah, she actually has a few tips on how they manage to stay happy, and I wanted to share that with oh, you guys. Please do. Uh, she asks, it's called, actually, Chloe and Lamar's Rules of Romance. Okay. This is, you know, quoted from her. This is not from us. This is what helps them stay together and happy. Uh, number one, communication is the foundation of a good relationship, which that I Absolutely. You have yeah. to be able to communicate, because if you don't, things get misconstrued, and you can't make each other happy. Yeah. Number two, there is no right or wrong way to communicate. Yeah, I have to disagree. I'm, with I'm that. gonna disagree with that too, yeah. but that's because there is a wrong way. Right, that's yelling wrong. And, and not listening. Right, exactly. That's something else. But this is from Chloe and Lamar. Yeah. Uh, number three, give gifts, lots of gifts. Well, mm, that's easy to say when you have money. You just money. go to the store yeah. and don't have to look at the price tag. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I can understand what they're saying, but I mean, the gift of love, give the gift of affection. Right. Exactly. You know? exactly. Uh, number four, try to stay on the same page together. Well, that's, I don't know, because men and women are always on a different page, yeah. if you ask me. But I think I kind of understand what she's saying. She might be just trying to stay. It's part of communication, honestly. Like stay, I mean, they're pretty stress-free. I think when you have tons of money, it enables you to live a little more relaxed life. Of course. You know, so I think that's probably a part of the reason why they're so blissful together. That's true. Yeah. So number five, a simple I love you can make you smile all day Definitely. long. Definitely. Uh, she says that Lamar sends her texts all the time and that uh, they send each other pictures throughout the day. Aww. And um, she says they say that texts are the modern day love letters. I like that. Me I think that's too. really cute. I love <laughs> when I get a text out of the blue from my man. Or, you know, sometimes, you know, you get comfortable and you kind of fall off. But this that just reminded me. Like, I think it set me back Aww. on track for the next couple of weeks and hopefully forever but I wanna you know I like to do that. That's messages. right. Just yeah. let him know you're thinking of him and how much you love him. Send him a picture of you, you know, it could be fully yeah. dressed, tab dress, no dress, you know, yeah. whatever. You know, just it's cute to do it. It's a fun idea. You said spicy. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep spice in the relationship. Yeah. Uh, number six is believe in love and show love and affection. No, excuse me, show love. 
they're very affectionate, she says. Like, their whole family, they were raised like that. They mm -hmm. love to show affection. And when she says, you know, believe and show it, she means proudly, yeah, show your love. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Men think sometimes it takes away from their masculinity. And I don't think so. If yeah, a lot of men don't like the PDAs, the public displays of affection. But if you're confident in your masculinity and you're comfortable with who you are, then who cares? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I agree. And then she says, number seven is, they say, be proud of your love. Which is the same thing. Yeah. So, you know, be proud and don't just do it because, you know, they want you to, she want, he or she wants you to do it or do or for it for you know? Exactly. Yeah. Really enjoy what you do and do it because you want to do it. Yeah. Uh, number eight is, this is a funny one, keep it yummy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sense of uh, well, Lamar's nickname <laughs> is the candy man. So she said they wake up with candy in the bed almost every day. Well, they did at the wedding. Did you see the, um, the actual wedding? Yes. They had like tons of candy. And she said that meal times are important to them because it helps them come together and discuss their day. That's sweet. I like that. And, and I think a lot of families best. are like that. Yes, for family, yeah. period, when you have children and whatever, aunts, uncles, just to come together, it's a good discussion. Definitely. You know, good discussion time. And, um,. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I can kind of agree with some of their rules mm -hmm. and disagree, but, you know, like I said, that's what keeps their love life together, you know. Okay. But, um, speaking of love. Yes. Love and hip-hop. Yes. Juicy, that's a love juicy, cat. juicy. Um, where do we even start with that? I want to start with Jim Jones <laughs> coming at Tattoo. I love it. Well, it's the hit. A.K.A. Maurice. Right. I, I, so I, I, everybody's calling him Tattoo now. I'm, I'm think, I forgot his name is really Maurice. But, um, yeah. First of all, I want to know, why did he think he was going to get harmed on, in front of uh, VH1 cameras? Like, he's scared. He's, like, gasping for breath when he's being threatened by, you know. And he's, like, he's so nervous. And I'm, like, the camera, like, what is, what's really going to happen to you on TV? And then Jim Jones has, like, his V-neck squad, like, right behind him, ready to, like, <laughs> yank him up. Yeah. I mean, I was a little, I wasn't shocked because, like Chrissy said, you kind of need a man, like, when a man can disrespect a woman, That's you right. sort of need someone else to intervene, preferably a man to set, put him in his place. Because yes. Maurice was definitely out of order. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Female but, trait. But you know what happened is I think also, excuse me, he, he's not really, his mentality, he probably wasn't realizing the, the, uh, you know, the, 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 how the impact, was, the he impact was of what her. he was saying at, he, at the time he said it. And, you know, when you're from the hood, you got to watch what you say. You just can't walk around talking reckless and thinking that it's harmless because the person can really take it the wrong way. And there's people that really get seriously hurt or killed over things. Definitely. Like that. Especially talking about one significant other. And sometimes they do it in front of cameras. But I don't think, you know, not on that show. But hey, you got to be careful, you know. But um, Chrissy, she surprised me. You know, she's like the kept woman and she's his partner and everything. She uh -huh. wants to, uh... She wants to do fashion styling all of a sudden. She yeah, says, she wants to style the next video, right? In the last, yeah, the last episode, she says to Jim, I know you have a new video coming up. She'd like to style it. I love you and everything, Chrissy. I just... It's not that I, easy, right? I, I don't know. Yeah. You have a fashion sense. I mean, I'm looking at her fashion sense, you know, and just because a person dresses a particular way doesn't mean that they don't, you know, have the eye for it, but I don't really see anything outstanding with her. Right. I mean, and honestly, not really with Emily either, but seeing some of the clothes that she pulls for her um, right. clients. So the that you may pull for someone, you may not wear for yourself. Exactly. You may have to dress someone else, but you may dress totally yeah. different and yeah. like I said you have a fashion styling background yeah. there are things that you will pick you have different types of yeah. taste for different looks exactly. but you're not gonna wear for yourself particularly yeah yourself, right okay but um in the fashion category we want to talk about uh, today's fashion uh, warrants that goes to actually we have a tie we couldn't decide between two people yeah <laughs> Um, Nicki Minaj yes. and uh, Emily West. Emily West has on, I don't even know what kind of top <laughs> she had on, but she had a It was like a sailor top. Like, you know, this opera gloves. And she had like these clunky black boots. I mean, it was just red carpet. I don't know. She looked no. like she was like navy blue shoes. She shorts. was like rolling around in the carpet in the dark and got dressed because I don't know where. And she was posing. She was really confident. Yeah. Like she yeah. thought she looked good. But she looked terrible. And Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj has like three strikes this week. I mean, she's wearing a multicolored colored leather. What do you even call that? Like it's a like a patch. It's like a patchwork trench, trench dress with like cow prints. Yeah, cow print or something. 
with a beehive slash like a Nene Leakes short do It's not on. a beehive. She has the cotton candy do. Oh, you know when they take the spin and they do the cotton candy and they give it to you she on the looks on like the thing? She on the lawn? On the Flintstones. That's what she has. It's a cotton candy beehive do. Yeah, and I mean, from the, sh the leggings. I never see her in anything other than leggings. I mean, she had on an Adidas uh, little she's short gotta, cross she's jacket. She's to show off that, uh, that jigger toe and that, ugh. But she paid, whoever paid for it, you know, she just wants it's to show that just off. a bit much. The Adidas jacket, which is cropped, and then the, the multicolored spandex. I mean, it's just all over I place. do like that ring that she has on. The ring is amazing. Yeah, the spiked four-finger ring. Like, those love boots, that all day. She looks like she had on those um, pimp boots from... <laughs>